Hi, I'm Kathy with the Delph Hill Quilt Company, and today I'm going to show you how to make some dog bandanas. These are super fast, don't take much material, and easy to make. Your fur animal is going to love them. And you can also customize the size to whatever your animal needs. To make these little dog bandanas, you really don't need much in regards to materials. You can make them in whatever size will fit your dog. So for Charlie and Sam, they're a little bit bigger. I would say Charlie is probably about 70 pounds. Sam's about 30 pounds, 35 pounds. So I use a 10 inch square to make theirs. They also have a dog cousin named Savannah. So hi Savannah, if you're watching this. And she's a little bit of a smaller dog. So I'm using eight inch by eight inch squares for her. We also can't forget our little feline friend, Miss Sarah, who is a cat. And for her, I use a six inch square for her little bandana. So for your squares, you need two. You need one that's gonna be for the front and one for the back. So for Charlie and Sam, I pick these two fabrics. And I have a darker one for the outside and then I'm gonna use this for the backing and the collar piece. So these are gonna be 10 inch squares. I've already pre-cut them. And if you wanna make the tab, that's just a little two inch square of coordinating fabric. So I've got that cut already too. So I'm gonna go ahead then and put these fabrics so they're right sides together and line up my edges. I think you'll find that this is a really simple way to make a bandana with really very little sewing and very little cutting. The first thing you need to do is fold it in half diagonally. I'm just going to finger press it just so I can get a faint line that I can use to cut. Then I'm going to open it back up and I'm going to cut two inches from this folded line here. And you're going to want to adjust that to whatever size you're going to need plus enough to slip the collar through. So for this one, this is probably a little bit thinner than a normal dog collar, so I know that this is gonna fit fine in if I did two inches. And you gotta account for the seam allowance too, which is gonna be a quarter inch. I know Charlie and Sam's collar is probably about an inch, so I am going to go with two inches, and that should give me plenty of room to sew it with the quarter inch seam allowance and then fold it over. So I'm gonna measure two inches from this folded line that I made earlier, and I'm just gonna cut right here. And what you end up with is kind of a diamond shape, or Superman shape. And that's it for the cutting. Next, I'm gonna take this to the sewing machine, and since I've already got these two together, they're pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna start sewing a few inches in from this top of the diamond shape, and I'm going to do a quarter inch seam all the way around it. And then I'm going to stop a few inches, probably about three inches from where I started. That's going to allow me to turn this inside out. So again, I'm going to start a few inches from the top corner of the diamond. And I'm using a quarter inch seam allowance. Again, I stopped just a few inches in front of where I started and that's gonna give me the opening that I need to turn this inside out. Okay, before you go to turn the insides out, I like to clip the edges just a little bit to take off some of that bulk. Okay, and I'm gonna turn it inside out. And if you have the end of a paintbrush, those tend to work really well for getting corners out. Okay, once you've got your corners out, you're gonna fold the opening in. Try to keep it at the quarter inch seam if you can. Fold it over on top of each other. And I'm just gonna press that quick. Give that a good press. Okay, then go ahead and press the rest of your bandana. Okay, 
right, now that we've got it pressed, we're going to fold down the part that's going to be inserted. The collar is going to insert too. I'm actually going to do this so it's the other way, so I have the dark as the outside. And really, these can be reversed too, depending on what your dog would like to wear for the day. I'm going to finger press it. And then I'm going to come back and iron it. Okay, before we put the ironing board away, we're just going to take our two inch square and we're going to fold it each side in until they meet. Try to make it so it's at the halfway mark. Press that. And then you're going to press it in half again. Okay. And then we're just going to put that probably about an inch and a half from the edge and like a little more than a quarter inch sticking out. And then I'm just going to come back and I'm going to top sew probably about an eighth of an inch or less from the edge here and that's going to secure this collar. When you're getting ready to sew the collar down, it's helpful just to go a few stitches and do some back stitches just to make it a little more secure where you're going to putting the collar in and out. Again, I'm going to do a little back stitching. Then we're done with the sewing. Once you have it stitched, go ahead and just trim your excess strings. Alright, once you have it all sewn, then you just need to insert the collar of your little fur buddy. And that just comes back and secures around your fur buddy's neck. So thank you for joining us today at the Delphi Cool Company for the dog bandana tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful and are able to make some bandanas for your little fur family members. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and visit us at www.delafieldquiltco.com. Thank you. Have a great day.